to Yemen now, which has recorded its first two deaths linked to coronavirus, raising fears of a devastating outbreak in the war-ravaged country. According to local media, the victims were brothers who died in the same hospital in the separatist-controlled port of Aden. The UN has warned there's a high chance uh, other cases are circulating undetected. Freya Cole reports. Silence in the centre of Aden. The southern port city has been put into a three-day lockdown after the first reported deaths of COVID-19. Markets are closed, the streets are near deserted. Residents fear the worst. There is no state and there is no legitimate government. There is nobody you can seek help from. If this epidemic spreads here, we will die like locusts. The curfew will be enforced by the Southern Transitional Council, a separatist group which claimed power of the city last weekend. At major checkpoints, soldiers have been telling residents to wear face masks. But aid agencies fear Yemen is on the brink of catastrophe. After six years of civil war, 20 million Yemenis don't have access to adequate health care. Famine is rife and hospitals are ill-equipped to deal with a full-blown pandemic. In the capital city, Sana'a, the streets are being disinfected. The UN has warned there's a high chance the virus is circulating in crowded areas undetected. But the rebel Houthi movement, which controls the city, says all suspected cases have returned negative. Official case numbers are still low, but the Saudi-backed government has issued a plea to all citizens, regardless of their political alliance, to take the outbreak seriously. We are calling on Yemenis to take preventative measures and to stop gatherings in public markets and attending Friday prayers during these exceptional circumstances. Meanwhile, the United Nations has called for the coalition ceasefire to resume in a desperate attempt for unity. Freya Cole, BBC News.